Within the world of anime, there are tons of characters, each with their own strengths. In this video, we will go over a few scenes when a character's aura decides the battle before it has even begun. Number 10. Kawaii Sony. Sono Starting off the list, we have Escanor's appearance before Esterosa, when nobody else was able to resist his commandment. Considering Esterosa already holding an immense aura, bringing everyone around him to the ground for hating him, the battle seemed over before it began. Right before he is able to do anything, however, Escanor emerges before him, walking up to him as if nothing happened. Esterosa becomes stunned, asking how he can move to which Escanor responds by saying, if this scene didn't give you shivers by wondering the extent of Escanor's power, then I don't know what will. Number 9. Next up is one of the coolest entrances from a character possible. After having their party entrapped in a cave and goblins surrounding them all over, all hope seems lost. Then, suddenly, Goblin Slayer is seen walking through the cave menacingly, showing no fear in front of the goblins, causing even the priestess to be shaken by his aura. He spares none of the goblins and kills them in the most brutal way, making her wonder who the real monster in this situation is. Juichi. She asks him who he is, but only learns that he refers to himself as the Goblin Slayer, someone who kills exclusively goblins. Although he looks so menacing, he is only one rank above her, causing her to wonder how someone of his level could be so strong and carry themselves so confidently. Number eight. <laughs> Entering the list, we have Megumi sacrificing himself in order to unleash the strongest of summons, Mahuraga. With him doing a forbidden ritual to shatter away the seal holding the divergent seal of divine general, Mahuraga, right from the start, he held an uncontrollable aura. <laughs> Before he is even summoned, those around him get encased by fear, wondering what will happen. Without even needing to look behind him, Megumi wishes Haruta luck, informing him he will be dying first here. Megumi is then taken out with a single hit, causing Haruta to recognize how serious the situation is. Like Megumi, Haruta assumes his life is over without even putting up a fight showing just how much of a presence Mahoraga holds. Although he can evade the attack thanks to Tsukuna's help, Mahoraga's hour is definitely causing the air to thicken around him. Hey. Number 7 
right after the long-fought battle against one of the strongest demons in the series, Tanjiro and Rengoku think they will finally have a break. Little do they know, however, is that this is just the beginning of their battle, with Akaza's aura radiating through the mist, staring them down with cold eyes. Even someone as strong as Rengoku understands the seriousness of the situation, readying his sword. Once they check his eyes and see that Akaza is the upper rank 3, their entire demeanor changes. They go from a relaxed attitude to thinking all hope is lost, knowing they need at least 3 Hashiras to hopefully defeat this monster. <laughs> Out of all the Demon Slayer villains and fights, I would have to say this is my favorite with Akaza having that aura around him, comparable to upper rank 1. Number 6 In the next clip on this list, we have Netero and Zeno's appearance within the Chimera arc. Considering that Pito, one of the king's strongest soldiers, had her aura around the entire palace, nobody would consider attacking. Regardless, they rushed into battle, starting off their entrance by sending a fury of attacks, shaking even the strongest of soldiers. <laughs> By the time they realized they were under attack, it was already too late with the two veterans' aura overwhelming even someone like Pito. Just to make his entrance even more cool, when Pito enters the sky to see who it is, she sees Netero staring down at her while floating in the sky. Despite her incoming aura, he shows no signs of weakness but rather tells her, <laughs> Before we continue, I would love to know which character you think has the coldest aura within the list or in any anime in general. While you comment, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated with my content. Let's get back to the list. Number 5 <sighs> As one of my personal favorite new gen anime that I'm excited for the upcoming seasons, this introduction has to be one of the coldest. The series starts by showing Gabimaru sitting before a shogun with an executioner striking his head repeatedly to attempt and execute him. Before he does, however, his sword snaps, showing just how strong Gabimaru is without even fighting. His glance alone strikes fear into the people attempting to kill him, showing just how strong of a presence Gabimaru truly has. While most characters start off by being weak or at least are portrayed as weak, his entire character is portrayed as a monster nobody can lift a finger against. <laughs> Number 4 <laughs> Barely missing the top 3, we have Finro being saved by the Black Bull, showing that they don't mess around when it comes to their friends. After a long fought battle, Finro ends up being defeated despite his efforts, but his brother Langris doesn't stop there. Instead, he continues to attack, hoping to finish him off for good. Right before he kills Finral, the Black Bull's trio emerges before him, stopping the attack. With this entrance showing how strong they truly are despite being regarded as a group of mess-ups, it really changes the Magic Knight's perception of them. I don't know about y'all, but this scene is one of my favorites from the series because of how strong the trio looks. 
the war raging and taking the lives of both marines and pirates, neither side plans on backing down. To fully end this, Kobe stands between the admirals and Blackbeard, hoping to put an end to it even if his life is sacrificed. Despite this, Akainu strikes Kobe only for his attack to be blocked with a single hand by Emperor Shanks. With this emergence being one of the coldest in all of anime, even someone as strong as a navy admiral gets scared by his appearance, telling everyone, Shanks explains, that he has come to end the war. Asking anyone who wants to keep fighting to take him on. Whether it's the Admirals or even Blackbeard, nobody dares raise a finger against Shanks, showing just how strong of an aura he holds around even the strongest of characters. Number 2 As the runner-up on this list, we have the man, the myth, the legend, standing before an army of thousands. With Madara not showing a single care, despite the numbers he is fighting against, he has to be a character with some of the strongest aura in all of anime. Despite having large numbers, the ninja who know who they are facing up against are unable to lift even a finger. As they shake from head to toe, wondering what they can possibly do against such a force, Madara dashes into battle. Cartoon. With this being probably one of the best hand-to-hand -hand combat fights in all of anime, it would be a disgrace to say Madara doesn't have one of the strongest auras. Instead of rambling on about how cool Madara is, why don't I just show you so you can understand what I'm talking about? Number one. At the top spot on the list, we have all for one's appearance before the heroes. With him being foreshadowed throughout the series, when he finally appeared before the heroes, nobody stood a chance. Best Genus attempts to entrap him to start, but he is quick to learn that not even a high rank hero like himself can lift a finger against such a force. After defeating the heroes, within an instant, the members of Deku class hold their breath, hoping he senses their presence. <laughs> Considering the strongest character, All Might gains his power from him, they know all of their hard work throughout their lives is meaningless. With his appearance alone giving them hallucinations of death, they wonder whether it's even possible to kill this man. They say his name is shakily, questioning if he is the epitome of power, all for one. Well, that wraps up the list. Let me know which character you think had the coldest hour upon entering the scene down in the comments section. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe as it's the best way to let me know you enjoyed the video. See ya!